Hello everyone, Twin Sanity here, and this is part four of my look at this brand new toy line from MGA called Ready to Robot. In the first video, we opened the four, four packs to reveal the hidden figures, and this turns out to be, uh, you know, the full set of the pilots that come in those four packs. In the second video, we found out the names of the pilots because the checklist only comes in the bot packs. In the second video, we also opened our first bot pack and found this guy here called Nitrox. We also learned that they're sculptural variants because you see the pilot of Nitrox here is the same dude as... Yep, they have trouble standing. He is the same dude in the pack over here called Jock, this guy. In the third video, we opened three more of these single packs. And we got this guy here called Stash, who I said looked like John C. Riley, but I was trying to think of Danny McBride. He looks like Danny McBride. We found his sculptural variant as far as the pilot right here, piloting Ice Money. We'll go ahead and call him uh, Craig Robinson. And then the third one we got in that video is Kill Switch here. And he is a sculptural variant from this dude over here called Club. Where's Club? Club and Kill Switch. So in this video, we're gonna open four more packs and also go through this piece of paper, which I didn't go through before. Open an order, you reveal the bags, you open the bags, connect the ball and socket joints. Guys, they're very, very loose. That's one of one of the drawbacks of this toy line. You pop out the slime. That's the other thing I'm really a little bit confused about. I'm not sure how the slime plays into this and why it was necessary. You open the slime to get your pilot. You put the pilot in by his feet. Line numbers to reassemble. That is step eight. Step nine over here says flip to use as a character stand. That's why I had this guy up here. What do you guys think? Does it make a good stand? Because I think I was basically going to just throw these things away. But then it also says remove and flip, and you can connect with these pieces. So it kind of becomes like HeroScape where you can connect these stands. Collect them all to link pods. This just says, hey, don't eat the slime. Don't get it in your carpet. Light up bots. I didn't talk about this yet either. Okay, so I can verify the case is 18 pods. So the case will get you this. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Except look up here, look for the ultra rare light up figure. So this guy half pipe is gonna replace one of these and it could turn out to be like this toy line I collected called Crazy Cubes where the rare figure, I would get case after case and the rare figure always replace one of the common figures, the so-called quote unquote rare figure. So there ended up being like a one of the figures down here that I never could get because I would, it, each case always had the rare dude. So I think we're all caught up now. We got Danny McBride, we got Craig Robinson, we got Kill Switch, and we got Nitrox. I'm thinking there's only three colors of containers. The black is charcoal one, the gray, and this greenish. Obviously I haven't been through a case, so there might be some more colors further down. Uh, if there is only three colors, then I'm a little bit disappointed. I think they should have done more colors there. I'll talk about some likes and dislikes. I like the sculpts, basically. I think the little pilots are the highlight. I don't like how loose the ball and socket joints are. I don't like these convoluted containers. And I really don't... I guess I'm kind of neutral to the slime. Nah, I feel like I don't really like it. <laughs> and one thing I haven't mentioned is the price point because it is a little steep. These are $10 a piece. Now the pilots, 
in the pilot packs, they're four, four, eight. So even those tiny little guys are two dollars a piece. But these ones here turn out to be ten dollars each. So you decide. Collect all fifty. Ten dollars a piece. Seems a little steep. That's enough to identify this figure. And who did we get? Gold and orange. Oh, oil can. Oil can. I like him, and I can already tell his uh, pilot is going to be a sculptural variant of this guy called Three Pete. Let's get this pilot out. Push that way. Boom. Lots of little interesting layers to unpacking this toy line. Here comes the slime. There's that pilot. We can put him next to three peat. And what do you think? Go ahead and get into our second of four. Got a gray torso with yellow accents. Pop that pilot out. yellow slime there was not yellow slime in the four packs who is the pilot of this one and who even is this robot We're looking at gray with yellow that's remix and Here's something else we learned. They're doing three variants, at least, because this guy, the pilot of Remix, and this boy called Club. All three are the same sculpt, the same mold. Let's go ahead and bang out pack three. Torso here is a grayish green with black accents and orange accents. A couple feet for you to look at. I think this guy is called Hamstrong. Ham Strong. He's gonna look like this. Push pilot out. Showing up in blue slime. Hamstrong. He's a pig, huh? Hamstrong. A variant of Space Hog. Looks like this. Okay, it's the last pack for today. Another gray one. Oh, I like this, a green torso. Show you a couple of appendages. There's a foot. And a weapon. Yeah, these containers are really convoluted. Is that what all the $10 is going to? I think we could have cut down on the convoluted containers, made a better price point on these. This is hogwash. I feel like we're gonna get the same sculptural 
We're gonna get a variant of the same sculpt here. Blue slime again. Here comes the pilot of hogwash to join his brethren. Remember these do have numbers on their feet. This is pilot 11, pilot 11, pilot 6. I'm really surprised they put, they, it's kind of an oversight, but they ended up literally with the same sculpt. Well, I'm wrong. Why am I so wrong? Okay, so that's obviously the same sculpt. This is a different dude. This is P6. P6. His variant from the uh, four packs is called Chow Down. Chow Down and Hog Wash. But both of these sculpts have to do with pigs? Huh. Hog wash, ham strong, chow down, and space hog. So guys, what do you think so far? Have you bought any yet? Are you gonna buy them? Are you digging it? Are you digging this kind of convoluted mess game going on here? Not sure why they needed to do so many. In addition to the containers that you may or may, or may not want to keep as stands or connectors like these why do they have to do all these little plastic packages too i don't really get it and like i said i don't really get the slime there's one more thing i haven't talked about is the other side of the checklist here the bot blasters are currently at walmart but these battle packs are not yet in my walmart so who knows i might keep going into that case to get all 18, well, 19. I don't know how that's gonna turn out. Because I do believe if I find him, it means I'm not gonna find one of these. And guys, there's no coating on the packaging. You're welcome to look it over yourself, but I've looked over it pretty thoroughly and, I'm, and I can't find any kind of unique coating. But the next video I'll do might just be these bot blasters, which are $20 packs, because you're getting two figures. <laughs> Pretty expensive to complete this set, but you gotta admit, these figures, when they're all assembled, do look kinda cool, and I'm a fan of these funny looking little dudes. They do pretty much seem like vending machine figures though. I think they would top out right at one inch. The material is good for them, but that soft plastic is not real good for these guys in the very very loose ball and socket joints but that's the look so far this has been the fourth video for the ready to robot figures the ready to robot robots the mechs and the pilots get them toy insanity go ahead and hit go ahead and smash that like button and i'll see you next time take care